The snipping tool is a program in Windows Vista that can capture portions of your screen. For example, I have my website open here. Now be careful when it comes to capturing images like I'm about to do here that you don't violate copyright laws. So you don't want to do it to my website, but I want to show you how it's done. So let's say I want to be able to capture a portion of the image here, just the girl, because later I'm going to be creating a handout to want to print that off, or I'm going to use her in a PowerPoint presentation. To capture just her, I want to use the snipping tool, and to use that, click on the Start button, go to All Programs, find your Accessories folder, click on that, and go down and click on the snipping tool. By default, it opens up and it changes my pointer to a little plus sign saying go ahead and just click and drag a rectangle here to the portion of the screen that you want to capture and save as an image. In this case, save it as an image to my desktop. Let go of the mouse, opens up the program, it says this is what you're going to get. Are you happy with that? If I'm not, I can close out and try again. If I am, click on the Save button, save it to my desktop, and rename it, well, girl. And then go ahead and click Save, close out double click on the image here and there it is. The only problem I'm running into is that you see this red outline? By default that's turned on. I don't want to save my images with the red border so I'll go ahead and right click and delete that and throw it to the garbage can and try it again. Click on the start button. Now because I used it it should be listed here. There it is in my most recent programs. Click on it. Opens up again. I'm going to click cancel click on the options button and to uncheck show selection ink after snips are captured. I don't want it to be inked with red around it. Click OK. Let's do a new capture. Click on the drop down arrow. You can do a freeform snip, a rectangular snip, window snip, which snips the whole window here. I just want to do rectangular again. Click New. Go ahead and click and drag and select and marquee the image of the girl here and then let go. And then be sure to save your work to your desktop. Give it a name, click Save, and you're done. Double click on the image, open it up doesn't have that red border around it, does it? has a little bit of whiteness over here, so I need to recapture this again so I can become perfect and not have that white border on the left or underneath. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.